ask him about preparing for a fight like this, to fight this guy here. What has he done, if he's done anything different than his last few fights? ¿Qué has hecho para prepararte para muchacho tan ¿Qué has hecho? ¿Qué no has hecho las otras tres anteriores? No, entrenamos duro igual que siempre. Nada, todo igual, nada más que un poquito más intenso el entrenamiento. He always trains hard as always, but this time he did a little bit more intense workout. He trained a little bit harder. Did he do anything specifically for Mike Dallas? Did he do something specifically for Mike Dallas? No. No. He just trained very hard. Not so special. There was a story that ESPN did about Lucas, about his lifestyle, about you know living by himself. That he's comfortable with that. Can he talk a little bit about why he doesn't mind being around people all the time, and that what inner peace comes with being by himself? Que ellos tienen son una una arte que vives solo y te gusta estar con mucha gente y te gusta estar vivir solo meses. ¿Qué piensas de eso? Que me gusta a mí. You said he like the list by himself, right? Right, in Argentina. Right, he lives solo in Argentina. Sí, sí, vivo solo. Tengo una hija. He lives by himself. He has a daughter, but he lives by himself. Yeah, but ask him about why he's comfortable living by himself and not being around people all the time. ¿Por qué te por qué te sientes cómodo estar solo y no estar entre mucha gente? ¿Por qué? No, no, vivo solo, pero siempre estoy con con mi gente de trabajo. He said he um, he lives by himself, but he's always around his boxing team. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that you know he's always with. How pleased has he been with his recent string of uh, performances? You know he stopped some good, solid fighters. He's looking into his peak years. How, how pleased has he been? Hemos progresado mucho en lo físico y en el boxeo, así que me siento muy bien, muy fuerte. He says he feels really good. He says he's improving every day, um, he's getting stronger, he's getting better. So he feels very good with what he's doing right now. And there was a report on boxing scene that Richard Schaefer was interested in having a fight with him and Marcos Maidana. Would he like that fight, or does he want Danny Garcia real bad? Yeah, Richard Schaefer habló con los de la prensa a hablar que a lo mejor en el futuro puedes hacer una pelea en Argentina con Marcos Maidana, o te interesa más con la de Danny Garcia? Con Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia. He would rather fight with Danny Garcia. Why so? Por qué? Y porque es el campeón y yo tengo una mitad del título y. Because he's the world champion, and he's um the interim champion, so he said he would like to fight him. What about Danny Garcia, Zab Judah? He's fought Zab Judah. Uh, how's he see that fight? ¿Qué piensas de la pelea de Zab Judah y Danny Garcia? Porque has peleado con Judah y el anterior. No, va a ganar bien Garcia, creo yo. He thinks that Garcia is gonna win. And the WBC um, recently said that Danny Garcia has to fight him by the end of the year. Is he confident that's gonna happen? Que dice que el WBC que ellos van a debe Danny Garcia pelear contigo al fin del año antes que se acabe el año. ¿Tú crees que sí va a pelear contigo? Sí, ojalá que yo esté dispuesto y ojalá que ellos también. He hopes so that he that fight could happen before the year ends. You know, on boxing scene on the forums there there was an old photo of you sparring Brandon Rios. Some people would love to see that fight. Could you kind of tell what he remembers most about that time sparring Brandon? En boxing scene hay una foto contigo sparring con el Brandon Rios hace mucho. ¿Y qué piensas de eso? ¿Y te gustaría pelear con Brandon Rios en el futuro? Sí, seguro. Hace dos años hicimos guante en Osnar. Ignacio García y sí, estaría muy bueno pelear con, con Brandon Río también, me gustaría una buena pelea. Yeah, he said about two years ago he sparred with Robert Garcia's boxing gym in Oxnard and um, he remembers that and um, he, will, he wouldn't mind fighting, fighting Brandon Río. Is he aware of kind of the promotional feud that exists between Golden Boy and Top Rank? Does he worry that might prevent uh, future fights happening, you know? Que ahorita hay un problema contra las dos compañías que ellos tienen y nosotros y tú tienes. Que tú crees que a lo mejor no se va a hacer esa pelea por los problemas de esos? Sí, seguro. Primero están los problemas de ellos y después, bueno, ojalá que sea. Yeah, he said that he knows the situation was going on between both companies, but he hopes maybe one day that could happen. If he can't get the fight with um, Danny Garcia, who else would he like to fight at 140? There's a lot of good fighters. Si no puedes hablar a pelear con este Danny Garcia de 140, ¿cuál otros peleadores te gustaría pelear? Con los mejores de la 140, con 
cualquiera que lo que esté. Is there anybody the best at 140? You'll fight all of them. Mm -hmm. If there's nobody there, would you go to 147? Si no hay nadie en el 140, puedes cambiar al 147. Sí, si no hay peleas, seguramente sí, pero me quiero mantener en el 140 y y hacer grandes peleas ahí. He would um, love to stay at 140, but if there's nobody at 140, then maybe he'll consider moving up to 47. Would he want to fight um, Devin Alexander or Zab Judah again since there were controversial losses? A lot of people thought he won both fights. ¿Te gustaría pelear otra vez con Alexander y Judah porque son peleas que mucha gente dice que no perdiste? Sí, seguro. Ojalá. Ojalá que se me dé la oportunidad. And he said, hope so one day, uh, maybe it could happen at 140, 147, he'll like that opportunity again.